I guess we always remember my next guest as Little Mo in EastEnders made such an impact, didn't she? These days, though, Casey Ainsworth is best known for starring opposite Robson Green in Grantchester, which continues, of course, this week. Oh, blast! This means he's a pea kit ironing. What fine job being a mum? Is that meant to be subtle? You don't need to take that tone. I'm not taking a tone. You're a Bobby's wife. You're a mother. So? Am I not allowed to have any kind of life outside? Someone has to say this. But Geordie clearly won't. Your little job, it is pin money, Cathy. It's about more than the money. You never listen to me. You've always been a letdown. <laughs> well, Casey joins me now. Um, this show, huge in yes. the UK and also in the USA too. Yes, yeah, love it. massive following over there in the US on PBS Masterpiece. It's brilliant. It's, <laughs> it's good, really good. It? Yeah, it's really good for me. I have to say how different you look. <laughs> I know. Now, of course you're going to look different because you're in the sort of 1950s style yes. and all of that. Loving the hair. Was this for a role? Yes, yeah. yeah, yeah. I played uh, Mrs Lovett in uh, Sweeney Todd at Liverpool Everyman. Yes. And um, we, were, we weren't doing a traditional production. There was no frock coats in sight. Right. Um, so they wanted it to be really visceral and really kind of of the now. Um, and so uh, the, the director, Nick Bagnall, um, Michael Vale and myself, we sat down and we kind of like... We kind of made her, and because she's normally played like a seaside landlady, like a bit, yes. you know, a co mockney cockney, you know. <laughs> yeah, here we go, right. a little labadack, all that. And um, and so they didn't want that at all. I wanted her to be really hard nosed. Ah. So yeah, so this is where the blonde came you from. Really suit it. Well, yeah, I, I kind of jobbed from after that. So so then I couldn't change it. And then right. the more I had it, the more people said to me, "Oh, it really suits don't you. Don't change it. It looks amazing." So in so, Grantchester, it's a wig. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Real a good new one. wig. Ah. A new Kathy wig. So before, yeah, that, that's my own hair. Yeah. So all of that's my own hair, and now I've got, and now I've got this new lovely, lovely wig because you know Kathy's got a new lease of life. She has. Now this is so interesting because he's not happy though. He's no. not happy. But it's that kind of thing of back then, you know, in the fifties, it was a struggle for women yes. to be able to be mothers and have a career and all of that. Yes. And she's wanting to get out on her own, and he's not having it. Yeah. No. No. He definitely isn't having it. He doesn't like it, and she keeps taking on more and more things. So she wants to be the shop steward. So yep. she wants to do, uh, do lots of stuff for workers' rights yeah. and things like that. And he's, he's, you know, he really still wants her there, putting his slippers down Indeed. when he comes in, as they all do. As they all do, especially back then. Exactly. Especially back then. Exactly. But it's really interesting dynamic in that relationship yeah. now because it's changed it. Yes. Which is, which is good. Yeah, and it's brilliant that, that characters, you know, can evolve during a series, yeah, you know. Um, you know, she started off being kind of, uh, you know, very domesticated and, and it's grown and grown and it's mm. grown because Robson and I like working together yeah. and, um, you know, and we could talk about how their relationship moved on from when he had an affair and, um, and yeah, it's, it's great that, that, that it, they can evolve and they can evolve with, with, you know, other characters, with Tom coming in. That's right. Um, you know, and just brilliantly done and... I mean, James really loved being in Grantchester, and so that's why he wanted to do this kind of smooth transition, this smooth sure, yeah. handover. And it made sense, didn't it? It really did. Yeah. He, just, he sort of handed over the battle. He did. And it sort of worked. You know, he and didn't just good. go, I'm off to America, loves. So yes. I'm, you know, I'm a big yes. star now. He literally said, I want to come back and I want to hand it over. And, mm. and Tom's very different. He's got mm. much more of a darker um, undercurrent, mm. uh, you know, underneath his character. So he's done really well to come in and fill oh, big sure. shoes, but oh, also absolutely. in a brilliant way and he's got amazing teeth well that always helps it helps it always it helps. is a good thing we always and nice james teeth. norton of course um touted as yes. the next born yes what do you think oh i Having think he'd be amazing yeah i think he'd be amazing well you saw he, you know as sydney he was beautiful and love lovable and then he was tommy lee royce who was awful so he has you know those two you know that you've already seen him play something mm. really dark yes but also something really lovable i think he'd bring something quite new to yeah, it really. be interesting yes. be interesting to see what happens i mean Maybe. everybody is getting touted for it you of never course can they tell. are it'd be me next <laughs> well you never know <laughs> you know what i mean jane bond well, yeah jane blonde <laughs> Blonde bond. You, you do, do it. look great, though. You look so young Thank and so well. I mean, would you put that down to? It can't just be hair colour change. <laughs> well, <laughs> I have been really busy, right. and uh, yeah, so I've been really busy. It's been it's been a crazy kind of three years, and I think, mm. like I said, I think a lot of it's to do with the fact that in you know, Grantchester being so successful in America, I've been you know cast on a different circuit, so off ah. the kind of domestic TV circuit, right. and more doing more films, Sweet. which is 
wonderful it's and a, a complete you know departure for me it's really yeah. lovely and oh, really, it's really good, good fun i get to go to film festivals around the world and, <laughs> and stuff like that and you know and flance about with That's you know great. xavier bardem and do you the know, plebby cruise it's just you know it's odd and wonderful and great and oh how just brilliant. enjoy it well you're at 51 i can go oh you're thriving on it you're absolutely thriving it's interesting we talked about your character in grandchester because yes. she's trying to be a working mum yes and you did take a break you I took did. a career break yeah because you wanted to look after your kids i did I did. I took about seven years off. I used to do one job a year, but yeah. a very small, small yeah. thing, just to, so I didn't lose it, you know. Sure. <laughs> um, so I didn't get too petrified next time right. I stood on stage. But yeah, my son was diagnosed with Asperger's and um, and dyspraxia when he was uh, six and a half formal right. diagnosis, but from about two and a half, three. Oh, okay. And he needed consistency of care. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, he, you know, he just needed a lot more when you've got a child who's got additional mm. needs. Um, you, it's, it is extremely difficult to work, you know, not apart from all the paperwork that you have have to fill in about your son and all the appointments that you have to go to and all of those kinds of things and I had you know and my daughter as well you have to kind of split your time between of the course, two yeah. it's when you have a child who, who requires so much of your time mm. you know sometimes siblings can get lost you know so You've it's got really to make important sure you get that balance yeah it was important. How's, he doing? how's he doing now? He's yeah doing yeah right? he's great yeah yeah, yeah. he's really okay. good um yeah i think in fact the dyspraxia probably at the moment causes him more trouble than the autism I, right. it balances between the two sure. um but uh, but you know we we consider it a kind of superpower for him really and look at how autism and and his dyspraxia can can positively enhance his oh. life and where right. it can be advantageous do you to know that, that is such a brilliant attitude casey it really is because so often we hear it's a disability yes or it's something that's going to hold you back yes and of course in extreme cases yes we have yes. to be realistic and say that it can absolutely but it's good to see that actually a superpower i like that yeah well it's <laughs> you know it's because he's so um he can be so driven yeah. and so single-minded and you know the, the the mindset for him is really black and white yeah it's good or bad this is wrong or right and oh. so he has a real a real drive so he's a brilliant sportsman um, and plays a huge amount of sport but that focus allows him to be a hundred percent committed when he's yeah. on the pitch um, and he, and that's what people always say you know his commitment his drive and the, and and he's and he's very confident in the way he talks as well so he's often made captain um, because he's you know he can do a good shout and tell everyone where to go <laughs> and he doesn't care what they think of him oh, that's, so, <laughs> that's, that's, that's the so superpower good. doesn't give a monkeys <laughs> what anyone brilliant. thinks of him I love that just gets I on absolutely. with it I love that. It's so, so positive. Yeah. It really is. It's a joy to see you. Oh, it's lovely to be on yeah, here. It's yeah, really yeah, yeah. It's always lovely. Long may you continue in Grantchester. Thank it's uh, Friday, 9 o'clock on night. ITV, of course. That's it, yeah. Lots, lots more to come. Thank Brilliant. you. Thank you Great so much. Great to see you. Thank you.